recently there have been a lot of shootings and police brutality and just brutality in general um, that's been going on. Um, my childhood affected my life. It's made me someone that's reaching out for what I want. What I see, I have an urge to say that that's where I'm going to get and I work hard and through everything to get it. What I have lived with has taught me that the things that are happening are wrong. I think it definitely affects the way that like I approach like most things. It definitely like it opened me up to different cultures and different like perspectives on issues. So I think that's very good. I feel like if I had a different dad, so like if my dad was white or something, I don't think I would be as worried, I guess, about the shootings because even though generally it's African American people, I do know that like there is still a lot of stereotyping going around about Hispanic people, and so the fact that people can just kill people, honestly, and nobody is putting them in jail or punishing them most of the time, it's a scary thing because it's hard to know whether or not that's going to happen to like when my brother's older, how am I not, like how am I supposed to protect him? Or like my dad, I don't know what's going to happen to him or any of my family members that are in the United States. On top of that, I feel like when people make big deals out of it, they only make big deals out of when it happens to black people. I think it's just putting more pressure on the colored people and it's putting more pressure on the African Americans as a whole because most of them do support the Black Lives Matter because black lives do matter. But it's coming to a point where it's so much pressure put, put on the African American lives that they can't walk out their front doorstep without worrying about if they're going to die. That's the goal to real, you know? Treat people the way you want to be treated. You wouldn't want to treat somebody the way that people have been treating each other in the news and stuff. It's just stereotyping that all police officers are going to be mean to you if you're colored. Or if you are not white, then you're always going to be doing something bad and so I should always be watching you. It's not just about black people, it's about Latinos, it's about all races. I just feel like the policemen are what's the problem, not the color of the people, not the racism. And I feel like no matter where you go, it's gonna be problems, but the problems that we're encountering, we shouldn't be because this is basically history repeating itself. And if we don't acknowledge that, then soon, Sooner or later, history is just going to repeat itself and we're going to go back through what we already were supposed to overcome. It's just the normal stuff. It's just a scary thing for people to be able to do this and get away with it.